Satnam, good morning. I hope you all are having a beautiful day. So I've been thinking a lot about um, just the state of the world, all the things that are going on um, around us all the time and how that can feel very overwhelming. We often can feel very um, disconnected, our head saying one thing, our heart saying another. So our Kriya today is all about connecting the heart with the head. And this is one of my favorite Kriyas. I know I've taught it to you guys before. Um, it's a short Kriya, so we'll have a nice little warm up prior, kind of get our our energy flowing before we jump into the, the hard work. <laughs> um, but this is a great Kriya to really uh, kind of keep in your back pocket. Um, it's only three moves, <laughs> but it, so it's very short, but it's very powerful. Um, you know, and it's all about Again, connecting the head with the heart, which is so important in our in our world today, and especially when you're on this heal healing path. Um, our world needs healing right now, and that begins with us. Um, I was just listening to a podcast by Tara Brock earlier today where she was talking about how important it is, you know, when we're struggling with the pain within our world that we bring healing to it. And it's not the healing, or it's not healing the world outside of us um, because we're all connected and we are, are part of that world. So when we heal, when we dedicate um, to healing ourselves, um, you know, we begin to, to start to heal the world. So, um, you know, as you're, as we are practicing together, let's keep, keep that in mind. We're doing important and really important work, um, with this practice, um, because we are, you know, when we're healing ourselves, we, we bring that into, into the world. And oh, <laughs> so that being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's bring hands into Jiyan Mudra, thumb and index finger touching back of the wrist to the knees. And closing our eyes. Starting to focus up at this, the third eye that spot just above the brow, above the brow line, right in the middle of the forehead. And if you're not comfortable having your eyes closed, you can pick a spot on the floor or the wall in front of you. And this way you begin to practice focusing your energy. As we're going through our daily lives, we get so many external distractions. We can take this time now to practice where we want to place our energy. And we elongate through the spine, consciously pulling shoulders away from the ears and lifting the chin. Let's inhale. And exhale. And continue that long, deep breathing, inhaling through the nose, pulling the breath all the way down into the navel center, this space right above the belly button.
can bring the hands into prayer mudra right at the heart center checking once more in with the spine elongating through the spine And let's open our practice chanting OM. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale to chant. OM. OM. keeping hands together. Let's raise our arms up overhead. Imagine you're pulling that heart energy up with your hands, with your fingertips, and it's filling that space between your arms with that beautiful healing light from your heart. And exhale, release your hands. Imagine you're drawing that light around you. And we'll bring our hands back down to our knees and begin our Sufi grinds. Inhaling forward, exhaling, rounding back. Remember, we're elongating through the spine as we draw these circles with the torso around the hips. And as we are practicing these Sufi grinds, starting to waken up these lower chakras, starting to wake in and release any tension that we might be holding within the kidney, the liver, or the spleen. I'm gonna share a poem I heard today. It just really hit, it just really plucked at my heart cords. It's a poem by David Wagner called Lost. Stan, still the trees ahead and bushes beside you are not lost wherever you are is called here and you must treat it as a powerful stranger the forest breathes listen it answers I have made this place around you. One more time in this direction. Inhale to center. Imagine you're pulling that breath up your spine. And exhale, release. Continue that same movement going in the opposite direction. I have made this place around you. If you leave it, you may come back again, saying here. No two trees are the same to the raven. No two branches are the same to wren. If what a tree or a bush does is lost on you, then you are surely lost. Stand still. The forest knows where you are and you must let it find you. Inhale. And exhale, release. Let's go ahead and kick out these legs. We're going to tap the heels on the floor. Tap those big toes together. And go ahead and inhale. There we go. Inhale, pointing the toes back towards the, the forehead. Exhale, pointing them forward. And continue that movement. Arms can either be resting on top if your legs are resting to the side. Remember to tune in with that spine, elongate through the spine, pull shoulder blades away from the ears. One more time, let's inhale up and exhale, drawing circles with the toes in one direction, just for a few times. And inhaling up and exhale into the other direction. All right. 
One more time. And let's inhale the arms up overhead. And exhale, coming down to toes, ankles, or shins. Wherever you land is exactly where you need to be. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. And coming back into that long, deep breathing. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, release and soften just a little bit more into this life nerve stretch. See if you can bring a gentleness to this stretch. And remember, eyes are closed, focusing up at the third eye or focusing at a point in front of you. We do this to bring awareness to ourselves as we reconnect and remember with through this practice, reconnecting to ourselves, remembering our divine selves. Choosing where we focus our energy. Noticing if we want to compare, if we want to judge, Coming back to that center. Inhale. And exhale, release. Let's come rolling up. And we're gonna come on up into our tabletop and start into our cat cow. If you have done this uh, asana or movement before, you're welcome to hop right on into it. If it's new for you, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, and toes are either tucked underneath or um, either flat on the mat or tucked underneath our feet. We're inhaling the tailbone up towards the ceiling, dropping the back, lifting the chin with, with the end of cow. Exhale, rounding the tailbone towards the belly button, arching the back, bringing your chin into chest and continuing that movement. And coming back to where you are, just as David Wagner shared in his poem, where you are right now is called here. And it should be treated like a powerful stranger. Where you are right now is called here. should be treated like a powerful stranger. What does that mean to treat here like a powerful stranger? If we get curious about it, why are we here? What are we doing here? What does here feel like and look like and smell like and sound like? One more time, let's inhale, tailbone up towards the ceiling, dropping the back, chin comes up, faces forward. Exhale, rounding tailbone towards the belly button, arching the back, chin to chest. Inhale, coming into that neutral tabletop, and we're gonna prepare for downward facing dog. So we're splaying the fingers, right? Preparing that foundation before we move up. That middle finger is pointing towards the towards the top of the mat. Toes are tucked under the seat, um, under the feet. And we're gonna lift our hips up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna move away from the camera just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So the hips are lifting towards the ceiling. Heels are reaching for the ground, and the head is hanging loose. We're gonna go ahead and plant this right foot, bringing the left leg up and swinging it through to the top of the mat, coming into pigeon. And you're welcome to stay here in pigeon. Um, you can also make a pillow with your head. But 
coming down into that, coming back into that long, deep breathing. Just for a few breaths here, pigeon, tuning in, notice what you notice. Notice any thoughts, any feelings that might be coming up for you. As you exhale, if you're reclining, pushing yourself back up into pigeon, and then bringing that left foot back to meet the right, preparing once more for downward facing dog, splaying the fingers, hips are under, or excuse me, knees are under the hips, pushing those hips up towards the ceiling. Pedal the heels here if you'd like, bringing one knee down towards the ground and then the other. Just getting a little bit of a deeper stretch behind the legs. And then planting that left foot, bringing the right leg up and swinging it on through to the top of the mat, coming once more down into pigeon. And straightening that leg behind you. Again, you can make a, a pillow with your hands, resting your head, keeping an eye on the time. <laughs> and taking just a few long, deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose all the way down into that navel center. As you exhale, pushing yourself back up into pigeon, bringing that right foot back to meet the left. And we're gonna sit back on the heels and coming in a child's pose, stretching our arms along the floor above the head, bringing the forehead down to the mat. And while you're here in child's pose, we can do some shoulder openers. So bringing the left shoulder up and threading it under the right, reaching that left hand towards the right side of the mat while your forehead is still on the mat. You can do some nice wrist circles here. making sure to do the same thing on the opposite side. Bringing that right arm up, threading it under the left. Reaching it up to the left side of the mat. And we're turning it back to the mat and walking ourselves up, back into rock. We're gonna come gracefully standing up Coming into pitch, or excuse me, into mountain. So rolling the shoulder blades away from the ears, and our feet are facing forward. A little pressed up on against the wall here. And we're gonna do some nice shoulder rolls, inhaling the shoulders up towards the ears, rolling them back down towards the ground. Okay, we're doing great on time. It's such a short Kriya, we don't need a ton of time. One more time. Let's inhale the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them on down. Let's do some neck rolls. Inhaling that left ear over to the left shoulder. Exhale, rolling chin down to the chest, bringing right ear over to the right shoulder and continue that movement in one direction.
making sure to pause if you need a bit of a stretch into, into the neck a little bit. And then slowly switching directions. Go ahead and bring our hands into Venus lock right behind our lower back and coming into a wide legged stance, rolling the shoulder blades away from the ears. We're going to inhale, keeping this left leg relatively um, strong and bringing that, the forehead down towards the left knee reaching our hands up to the ceiling and then rolling ourselves back up to center and doing the same thing on that opposite side and continue that movement let's bring her three times on each side One more time on each side. Inhaling up and exhale. Let's come sitting down in rack pose. We're gonna bring hands into prayer mudra. So this next, these next two movements can be done either in rack pose or sitting in easy pose. Okay, if rack pose doesn't feel comfortable for you or your ankles, um, if you'd like to try it in rack pose, but you need a little bit of space, um, or you need to sit off of your ankles a little bit, you can always roll up a mat and place it between your heels and your buttocks. So we're bringing hands into prayer mudra and we're going to imagine that we're opening up the walls around the heart, really pressing them out, pulling shoulders away from the ears and we're keeping our hands, like our arms are strong, we're trying to keep them parallel to the ground and our wrists are flexed. This is our inhale. And as we exhale, we round the, we, we're going to point the fingers behind us, inhale up, exhale forward, and continue that movement. We won't be here for very long, but we're doing a lot of work here around the heart. Really imagining that we're pushing the walls of the heart open. And with our wrists flexed up like this and the fingers pointing up toward this, the ceiling, we're really working these nerves that run from the heart all the way down to the wrists. Go at your own pace. And we're inhaling up, exhaling forward. Inhaling up, exhaling back. One more time, let's inhale up. And then on the exhale, we're going to bring our arms up overhead, crossing in front of this third eye, inhaling down, back to those parallel arms, wrists are flexed, and then exhaling up over the crown of the head and continue that movement. So we just did a lot of work around the heart really opening up the walls around the heart. Now we're bringing that energy up to our third eye and up to our crown, right? So this universal love, we're moving it up into our intuition, our divine wisdom, and up into this where we connect to our higher consciousness 
guys are doing awesome. One more time as inhale up, 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 really elongating through the spine. And exhale, release your arms. And we're gonna come standing up one more time. And coming into a wide-legged stance. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of squatting. Just a little bit. So, coming into a stance that's comfortable for you to be able to bend down almost like you're, you're sitting in a chair. And bring your hands back into prayer mudra and opening up the wall of the heart. We're gonna continue that same movement. This is our inhale. And as we exhale, we're coming up over the third eye. Inhaling down, exhaling up over the crown. Continuing that movement. Again, so just a lot of work around the heart moving it up and now we're getting it around into our aura into our magnetic field It's like awesome you're doing great one more time let's inhale up 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 really stretching up through the fingertips and exhale release and coming back to where you are now coming back to here bringing hands to your heart Feeling your heartbeat. Feeling that rhythm of your life pulsing, radiating. And let's heel toe back in. Okay, coming once more back into this mountain pose. Prayer mudra. Taking this moment to thank yourself. Thank yourself and honor the courage to be on this path of healing. Remembering who you are. Honoring the courage, honoring the strength. Because healing, it begins with you. And let's close our practice chanting Sat Nam three times. I am truth. Inhale and exhale and inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Sat That was a wonderful practice, you guys. Remember to rest for three to five minutes before you uh, get back to your day. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you later. Satnam.